So what is burbot? A burbot is a greasy, elongated, bottom-dwelling fish that is home to both North America and part of Eurasia. Burbot are, just from fishing for them, they are some of the greasiest fish I've ever felt. Northern pike, everybody complains about them. Not even close. Burbot are so greasy. But that makes them fun. They're, they're so unique. They're the only member of the cod family that lives in fresh water that can actually survive. And, I mean, that's kind of cool. A lot of people eat them. They're called poor man's lobster for a reason. Fishing for burbot in the video to come, uh, they're actually harder than I thought they would be. I've seen pictures of people catching them and honestly I did not know anything about a burbot until about two years ago when Brett McComas posted a couple pictures on Instagram and it just, the fish looks so cool I just wanted to catch them. A big part of why I filmed this video is actually not just to show me catching fish, but to show just like how cool they are. And I know in Europe they're actually almost extinct and I just, to know that a cool creature like, like the burbot is almost extinct in another part of the world, I just don't want that to happen in the United States. So I say, if you're going to ever go out fishing for them, please, it'll probably be during the spawn. If you catch a big one, just send it back, CPR, catch picture release. The ones you could eat, I'd say probably just eat the smaller ones, the ones that haven't really shown their genes, a strong dominant gene of just being big and muscly. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Lake in Brainerd, Minnesota, and we're gonna go smash some burbot. Let's get there. There we go. I like to feel them run. Oh. That's a good one. We're just stop. How's it going guys? There's two baits that we're using primarily out here for these eel pelt. One of them is a gumball jig, just like this, just your standard jig. The second one is a trout and pelt minnow. These work exceptionally well at night. They glow very well. These ones glow as well. Um, not quite as much, but you kind of get the gist. The rod I'm using out here uh, is a custom rod made by J.R. Cooper. Really awesome rod. He just used, he used like a a bait caster, just a real sea kind of, made by Fenwick. And then he used an old ice rod and actually attached it to the end of this, this real sea. He's letting me borrow it for the day. Seems to be a pout slayer. Let's go catch some more. drag a little bit. That's a nice good fish. one. Nice fish, nice fish. 
<laughs> How do you like eel pouts, Cindy? Oh, I love it. You love them? <laughs> I love it. It was a big one. Yep, it was fun. Absolutely fun. And uh, I'm pretty much addicted now, that's for sure. Good job, yeah. Cindy. That feels so good. What are you going Tanker. Good job. <laughs> I'm slipping here. There's slippery fish. They're slippery. Releasing JR's fish. Okay guys, so the cadence we're using out here for these burbot is just a slow up and down banging the bottom cadence. Uh, these fish are just strictly bottom feeders, so they're always cruising the bottom, slithering along the bottom. And uh, Right here, you'll see me actually hook into one with JR's rod. He made one heck of a burbot rod. These fish are just so fun to target. They're so elusive. They seem so easy to catch, but really, they're, they're smart. They're very smart fish, and they don't bite unless they really want to bite. Why do I think that you should go out and target burbot? It has helped me so much as a fisherman, especially as an ice fisherman, to target a species that isn't just a bite your hook species. These fish, you really have to work for them and you learn patience. Patience is such a great quality to have and fishing has really humbled me in so many ways and patience is one of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have bourbon in a body of water near you, definitely go check them out. With that, I'll see you guys later.